Mercy. He will not fill the clock. Look at that tire's just falling off. Oh. By the way, the scores are in. This is bonus for the fans. He's just going on with it. And I think Lindsey oh, Blake man. is starting to say, well, you know, second's not bad. Because Dennis Anderson has rocked this house. Mark, let's just listen. Let's just listen. This freestyle out with some great air, some interesting crossroads right here. Yes, Look at yes. this. That's how you wrap it up. Well, there you go. That's the exclamation. Going hammer down, throttle on, making horsepower. He's got to do jumps like this and hope that it doesn't sneak up on him and bite him. Yes, they trust each other, but this is the ultimate in trust. How? When Look, you're freestyling. Oh, hang on here, but. Oh, no, Adam's <laughs> over. Adam is upside down. Oh, oh my goodness. Mid-air collision. That was the move of the night. Look at Dennis. He's still trying to save it. He wants to do it again. Unbelievable. He's just going to give it to these fans in Atlanta. And remember, this has not been a great building for him. Tom Metz is on this building. This is going to be a huge victory for Dennis. And if he doesn't get it. <laughs> oh, my. Unbelievable. Hang on. Here we go. Uh, did I say something about Dennis struggling in freestyle? Can we go back and scratch all that out? What a performance! By the way, Cam McQueen's already become the first driver ever to stay in the hot seat the whole event, starting number one. Or will that be enough for a world championship? We don't know. Another amazing Grave Digger run, and fans get a great look because every piece of the body is gone. Well, except for the hood. He's the and look at that. He is just going to shove the hood out of his way. He wants to be able to see, and you can tell that's blocking him right there from the onboard over his shoulder there. Amazing. He lets go of the steering wheel and the rear steering and shoves the body out of the way. Look out, over on his side, he will not save it. And this bonus judge is still evaluating this. Nobody is sitting in Everbank Field, they're <laughs> digging it. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me, Anderson? A Unbelievable. double well, he's end done. over end that lands on top of Max D. <laughs> Think about uh, that, my friend. Right. Right. Here we go. And Dennis doesn't care because it's been about these fans for 30 years. He said it so many times. The amazing Grave Digger 30th anniversary Look experience is with us here in Las Vegas. And Anderson oh does not my. get the fill. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. That was an, uh, you know what? The That's tactic. your death. That's, That's your death. He, he, <laughs> see, he realized he had to top or beat LeDuc, and he did exactly that, and he didn't make it. He didn't make it. it no the truck nosed in a little bit. And he will take it. In the bonus time. Now, this is going to be interesting. Charlie Buck and Gravedigger, Minneapolis. Kristen Anderson comes from there, and there is some cross ready going on. She lands this, she's got it in the bag, but she will not get it. Uh-oh, she's got a fire down there. Oh, oh and yeah, she is gonna roll the truck. 
She tried to put an exclamation point on that one. Bari with a big edge going in that first turn. Kristen Anderson goes tight, and she has caught some gap, made up some gap here on Bari Musauer. Coming around the far oh, inside, here comes Bari. Oh, no, oh, and good. look at not the good. wreckage. Over to the eight pack we go. Way up over it. Oh. oh, man, he broke the front left, or the front right wheel. There we go, finding something different. We've seen him do this before. Nice. Gets up over the car stack, doesn't I clear the it tabletop. When they find that new stuff. Uh oh. Get a save here, bud. Throw oh, a save on it. Look at him going in reverse here. Look at that, a reverse stoppy in freestyle. And he's walking it. He's walking it. We have seen everything tonight. I'm throwing my water down. We have seen everything tonight. A reverse stoppy into a reverse walk. Swimming it back over to the yellow side of the track. We might see a backflip attempt here. He's going for it. Tyler Minigan lines it up, sends it across the container, pushes it, and he's not going to land it. What happened? Take us through the What's been going wrong for Gravedigger this weekend? You know, I think Adam might be trying too hard. He really wants to bury the competition, as he always says, and unfortunately, it's really biting him here in Detroit. Here comes Weston Anderson, the young kid out of North Carolina, and he is going to land it into a one-wheel the wall. Hey, it's, the wheel it's, in the front. Yeah, it's, it's the left front wheel. The axle went out. It's not pulling at all. That's why you can see him pulling that one direction. Let's get a save. Oh, and that left front tire just will not. Again, turning the steering wheel with their hands on it firmly, showing the fans how she can keep this control of the truck. Now she's going to back and forth this thing. The back two BKT wheels holding the traction up, up onto the pod, into that tip. Then Chris and Anderson continues the wheelie all the way down into a stoppy. Then unfortunately goes too hard, ends up on the hood. And Grave Digger gets a 7.829. It is eight pack time. That's what he's going to do. And instead launches it straight up in the air. And the Grave Digger truck folded like a tin can. <laughs> gets a save. Wow, that thing really did crinkle. Luckily, it has that sturdy cage underneath and it just doesn't have the body. Tyler Menninga, big save. And now he's on to his wow moment, keeping the crowd on her feet. Man, this is a good freestyle. Oh, and a little bit of chaos. Goes off again, saves it. Tough to save it on this track. He gets Tyler Meninga with a big advantage having traction on those BKTs in this later freestyle, but he lands on the lid. Traction not going to get it anywhere in the mud right there.